Time flies and it feels like only a few vlogs ago we were all excited as our figs had started to harvest. Well, now summer has come to an end and if I don't want what is left of the figs to go to waste, I better start drying them. Drying fruit and vegetables is very common in Italy. They are experts at it. So I asked around in our village to find an easy to follow technique for an amateur like me. To me, preserving foods is fantastic, as it not only reduces wastage, but it also allows you to continue to enjoy some of your favorite foods a little bit longer. It's pretty windy outside, and the idea was to start drying them on that table to get the sun because we get the afternoon sun on this side. I'm a little bit worried about the wind. I don't know if a tray will hold. Right now the wind sort of slowed down a little, but you guys, it's been pretty, pretty strong for the last couple of days. Um, so at least I'm going to cut them and see how we go. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Fiorella. I was born in Colombia where I lived half of my life. The other half, the half when I became an adult, I lived in Australia. Almost two years ago, my husband and I moved to a small village in southern Italy with our Maremma dog and our ragdoll cat. I hope that you come along as I rediscover myself in my early 40s in this new chapter of my life. little bit of this area here so that it doesn't completely break apart so they remain in half like this most of the time when you take them off the tree they're going to be like this so that little top part will be gone most of it but sometimes you will find it like this so we just need to cut a little bit of that so that it looks neater. So we don't want this. We want it like this and then gently we open it. So when you see me in the kitchen, it's just me trying to get out of my comfort zone and attempting to replicate what our adoptive Italian families do on a regular basis. I am not qualified yet to make lunch, but hopefully I'll get there. Oh, look at the color of this one. That's beautiful. We have a few figs that I collected some days ago and these ones here more recently and because of the heat they go off very quickly um, and that's one of the tricky things about trying to dry them because if you don't do it timely you're just going to lose everything. From the time I picked the figs until now, there's a few that have been bruised or that they don't look too pretty to dry or that they are over ripe, over ripe, over ripened. So I'm just um, selecting the best of them.
usually you will have a um, cloth or something underneath and instead of a tray you will have a surface that allows the figs to breathe underneath as well as on top so we're talking about people that have been doing this for their whole lives um so of course they have all the equipment and materials and all the setup needed we don't we just going to give it a go and see how it works for us um, this year. The process that I have used is kind of um, adapted to what we have at home. I wouldn't call it a technique. So let's see how we go with this uh, with these things. told that there is a stage or a step in which you may need the oven you may need to put them in the oven um, it's interesting because when I google and when I look on YouTube um, for for this type of, um, of process um, probably all the videos that have come up are in Calabria and Sicily and they um they don't use the oven so um i'm pretty sure that because the sun there is a long stronger you the figs may dry well without the need of um of an oven but here as you can see we are on a hilltop town with windy days and we may or may not get enough sun to completely dry the fix so we may need to use the we may need to use the oven so these figs are going to be my babies for the next couple of days or weeks i really don't know when I have asked around how long it takes, they go like, boom. <laughs> so I guess it will depend on the type of fig, on how hot it is, or where you put them. Anyway, we'll, we'll learn as we go. I'm supposed to turn the figs um, once a day at least, so I'm thinking of um, putting them here in the afternoon and on the front balcony in the morning because the front balcony gets the morning sun. This is day number two and this morning I brought the trays to the balcony, to the front balcony. On this side it's a little bit less windy so maybe I'll just take this paper off and see how they go for the morning.
we are going through a cold snap that will last for a couple of weeks. So even though autumn is not setting in yet, we feel that this is as dry as the figs will get with the sun and temperature we have right now. Good luck. Hey, this one looks like a pistachio on the camera. Yeah, the <laughs> color. Yeah. So we will need to use the oven to finish them off. So from three trays, we're back to one tray. Some people choose to leave them as is or put an almond inside or a pistachio. We will do some with almonds and some without. Maybe a bit close. Yeah. yeah, yeah, show it with it and let me. We need to put um, a toothpick or so. Yeah. Mm. Okay, that's good if we do that. They're so small that I don't know if a toothpick is gonna. There is space for it. Container device. So here is where the figs have been stored. Since that day, it's two months after actually the last footage that you saw. And the landscape looks quite different. Now we are pretty much going towards the beginning of winter the air today is pretty chilly I can smell wood from the fireplaces around and to be honest we haven't even tried these figs we haven't we haven't even tried the figs yet pardon the way you find me in <laughs> It's a Saturday morning and we've been so busy, we've been traveling quite a bit so um, I just needed to edit this video and take it a little bit easy for the rest of the day. I think Aiden hasn't tried the figs yet either so maybe it will be a good chance for both of us to try them. Honey, are you here? No. Have you tried the figs yet? No. Me either. <laughs> Show me. Mandorla. Mm, yummy. Si. Mm, delicious. Ha <laughs> ha. Mm. I'll try one without an almond. <laughs> Chewy. At the beginning it was a bit sweet and then it got a bit bitter. Yours wasn't. Hmm. I wonder if the almond gives it some kind of sweetness. See, but this half wasn't bitter. I wonder if because the skin was thicker and makes it bitter. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's me. No, it's not the skin. We'll definitely try again next summer.
I feel so grateful for being able to slow down every so often and find the space to do these kind of things that take time and dedication. Most of us love the Italian culture exactly for this reason and it is up to us to keep it alive. Thanks to our beautiful fig tree. Although you have lost most of your leaves now, you are still beautiful and us and the cats loved being in the fresh shade you provided. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and if you haven't yet, please subscribe. You can continue to enjoy my content right here and we'll see each other on the next one. Bye!